Okay folks, before I fire this, um, this is basically how the arrow sits in here. Uh, this is a homemade wooden one uh, loaned to me by another off-grid uh, survivalist down the road. Uh, they make their own arrows. Now, the bowstring is 18 strands and it's been bound around the knock area here. The arrow rest is there. Sits up flush against the... Uh, you can get a, a close up of that, yep. like that. On the velcro strips and that's your siding window to cut out just the... Alrighty. The arms are made from uh, reinforced uh, fiberglass. I don't know exactly the, the composition of it. But um, now we'll do a test fire. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, folks. That's uh, pressed uh, sugar cane mulch. I haven't got a proper archery range set up here. So it was a relatively short distance and I'm still practicing pulling the bow. There's one member on Survival HQ suggested I do. I haven't, I haven't fired a, a bow for over 40 years. One thing to get used to uh, pulling, drawing the bow um, and then to its maximum capacity and then um, work on accuracy. So for the purpose of this video, because I haven't got a range set up properly, I missed the target. These arrows can go anywhere. Uh, it was only short range. So uh, it was just a uh, target arrow, not a hunting head on it. So uh, it's a very simple design, very rugged design. Um, it doesn't need any special tools to put it together, like screwdrivers, hex keys, and that sort of thing. Um, it's quite uh, comfortable to um, carry if you're hunting. And I found that, uh, for me anyway, it's, it's very well balanced. I'm not going to go into arrows because that's a whole new topic. Um, but for me, um, it's a very low maintenance uh, hunting bow in the bush, which is what you want. And it's uh, very compact and the uh, simplicity of it, of its design, I really like it. Um, I do need more practice on drawings, but as I said, I haven't fired one for about 40 years. And I've got to beef up in the shoulders and the neck a bit. Good company, Primal um, Unlimited. Very good company, very good customer service. Um, there are delays if you've ordered one of these or thinking about order, ordering one of these. Um, they are sold uh, in the United States, you can buy them online. And the problem that I experienced, um, it took about oh, six or seven weeks to get here. The problem being not being primal itself, um, the problem was demand and supply. Now, these are made somewhere else and primal is just the, uh, the retail outlet, the online um, uh, retail outlet. And they've been very courteous to my inquiries uh, they do like feedback on their website about these bows, whether it's a 50, 60 pound or 50 pound bow. Um, they've been very courteous to my inquiries about the status of my order. And when you order one of these, they acknowledge it through your email. And when it's sent, they also um, send the tracking number for it. Um, mine came by USPS. And uh, over the, uh, the transition time it was posted, um, I was able to track where it was. Um, in Australia, it was clear by customs. And that's the last notification I got on the tracking order. And it arrived here very uh, soon afterwards. So if you're looking at uh, buying one of these off Primal, um, be patient, be courteous. Um, very good customer service.
and that's what they're concentrating on as well as the, uh, the products they sell and um, it's just a matter of uh, waiting a while while they, they get the um, issues of uh, demand and supply and some production issues sorted out. Very good company, very good customer service. Alright folks, um, next I'll show you how to uh, take the string off this and how to fold it up back in a sec. Okay, with these bows, uh, unless you're using them, you don't, don't store them uh, with the bow string or, or it's strung. Very easy to unstring, just press down, pop the top loop off, let it slide down. Undo the loop off the bottom arm and just pop the string off the top. Fold it up and put it back in the plastic bag. Now, to fold this up, just undo your, your arm retaining screws like that. And just fold them in like this. It's as simple as that. No extra tools needed. Now what I found is uh, with these uh, retaining uh, heads here, screws for the arms, once you've folded it up just do them up finger tight again. <coughs> Excuse me. That way uh, if you've got them in traveling in your vehicle or in your backpack, any vibration, these won't come out, they won't come loose and you won't lose them. Once you've lost those, once you've lost those, um, the bow is unusable. So again, once you fold it up, just finger tighten those so that they don't come loose or fall off, off the, uh, the bow itself when it's in storage or you've got it in the back of a vehicle or your backpack. The string, once you put it back in the plastic bag, Velcro strip, good. You can put another one on there if you want to, and ready to go. In your backpack, whatever, very compact. So uh, I'm quite pleased with this bow, I've still got a lot of practice to do on it, I find it very easy to use uh, so far. Um, certainly there are other types of uh, takedown bows out there but many of them require uh, things like hex keys, uh, maybe screwdrivers and things like that. This doesn't require any extra tools at all. Very very simple, very easy to maintain in the field. Um, I would suggest from time to time just make sure that the arm retaining pins here are nice and tight, don't over tighten them. And again, with these, don't over tighten those because uh, it was likely to strip the uh, aluminium thread um, in the riser. And uh, then you've got all sorts of problems, the bow is virtually unusual, unusable. So that's pretty well it folks, um, and thank you Primeval, uh, Primal sorry, Primal Unlimited, um, good product, good customer service, and uh, if you're looking for a very simple uh, takedown bow in the bush, it's very robust, requires minimal maintenance, um, I would suggest having a look at one of the primal products, take down both, both products. I've only got two types, 60 pound and 50 pound. But um, yeah, this is good. Okay folks, see you later.